out of chance. And we're live. Yay. Oh, you're crooked. <laughs> we're crooked. Can you hear us okay? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, they can hear us. Hi, Jelly, Brian. Hello, Kim. Kathy. Angie. Nancy, Donna, Joy, Le Shot, Rochelle, Monica, welcome everyone. Did you say hello to Brian? I did, didn't I, Brian? <laughs> hello, Brian. Everybody picking on you tonight? Because he's tater soup. So where shall we go first? Last week's paintings. That's pretty. The, the cream of the crap, right? The cream of the crap? From last week, yeah. Don't you think? Okay. <laughs> well, there was a little problem. We got a little... Uh, Cracking here and here. That's because we have the heat cranked. We have to. It's been cold. So this was my attempt at an intermingling four cup flip cup. Came out okay. Colors dried really nice. I like the the iridescent you have in there. And It'll look good with resin in it. Whenever you get around to putting it on. Whenever I get around to it. So then, did you do the triangle first? No, you did this one first, right? Yep. That what would you like to say about this that one? That was our double tulip cup. I love that middle. Very pretty. Hello, Kay from Palm Springs, California. Hello, Angie from Las Vegas. Moose is in the house. Yeah, this one came out pretty cool. I like the champagne shimmer in there. Harvesty, is that a word? Larry? How you doing, Larry? Harvesty. I'm going to have to Google that. So we have to put these away. You can put them up there for now. And then I'll move them. Up. Right there in front of you. Here. Got it. So we got two more to show yet from last week. Again, I got a bit of cracking in this here and here, here. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Do you remember what you used on that one? I bet if I go into the pail, I could find out. Let 
No, I don't remember. I'm going to have to go get tested again. Our brains are fried this weekend. And then there's this Funkadelic Yeah, look at the piece. cracks. It slid off the canvas. I didn't have it on the rack right. But it's so funky. But that, see that pole crack there by your thumb? Right here? Yeah, because it was coming this way to fall off the canvas. So it pulled and dried and cracked like that. But I might put some gold leaf on there or something. Doctor it up and give it a good coat of resin. So Kim Bell wants to know how do you fix the cracks? I think you just yeah you can you can fill them in with paint or a lot of people do gold or black. It depends if you want the cracks to show or not. Um, best thing to do is to cover them up. Like you could put a stencil on that to hide it all, and the resin of course would be a clear coat. You can be able to reach these. Don't go too high. <laughs> I have a step stool. No worries. And so, Alan's brain is fried. He does not feel like painting, so I'm going to paint tonight. But we're going to be doing some bigger canvases tonight. Which we don't normally do. No, we don't. How big? Are you going to Bigger than our average canvas. I'm just going to be moderating here. Well, you have to turn around and look at the screen if you're going to moderate. Is that how that works? Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I'll take some lessons from Brian. So my first painting is going to be a 20 by 20. I just sprayed them so they're a little damp. I got to get the camera up. Okay, so Julie's got a question. Does size matter when it comes to canvases? No. I like how she clarified that. Hello, Janice. Hello, Doris. Do I have a clip over there? Hello, Emily. For me. A clip. Flip, flip, flip. A clip. I don't see one. There's some over on the stairs. No, I took them all in. Sorry. It's a yeah. No, that won't work. I can use a pencil. Chip clip. I'll use a pencil. If my hair is long enough. Hello, Lance. Glad you could join us. Cecilia. There. Hello, pen. Sherry. Glad pencil. you could join us. <clears throat> So I'm going to try to use up some paints that I have in bottles because I want to switch to the juice bottles. Alan's not going to be happy about that. So let's use up some Part of one. Shelly's Masquerade. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is maybe four Boilermakers on here. That would be fun. But flipping it will not be fun. Because I'll need a tray. Let's do that. Hmm. Let me pull the canvas and put a tray down. Hello, Beth. I'm moving so slow today. I don't know if this is going to work. I think, I'll, I think I'll use a spatula. 
But you need your glasses. Monica Strickland says you should do four seasons of color. <laughs> nah. Pronounce this right. Melon Willis, San Francisco. All right. So I gotta grab some more color. Let's use some Gold Rush. And I'm gonna use black. I wanna go lighter. Use some juniper. Ron says you guys are so informative. We try. I try. Yes, I try. Um. porn star. Um. Nothing wrong with lurking. I do it once in a while. I bought some shifts. Let's do uh, blue violet. Hello, Nate. Another lurker. So short. Brian says you should do five boiler makers. I'm oh. sorry. That's boiler makes. That would be too many. Too much background paint, I think. I may lose it all. I can intermingle the shot glasses. I don't like the blue violet in there. Let's see what dragonfly looks like. I do dragonfly. Then I'm gonna have to throw moody blue in there for contrast. Actually, I don't, folks. I'm using black. Hmm. Jeez, it's like the roles are reversed here. Normally, it's me that's having trouble choosing colors. You just chiha. <laughs> I think I'll use up this iridescent white. There's not much in there. Well, give me just squirt that. Yeah. I know I have enough black. That's a fresh one. I need gloves. Gloves are good. I've been staring at a computer screen all day, so I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm sleepy. work. Okay. Start with white. So I want to use it up. Then let's go with Dragonfly Flash from Folk Art. Like lots of layers, so then we'll go with some gold. This is Praj Passy Gold Rush. Our paints are available on Etsy. We have 48 colors now. All right, then we'll do some Shelly's Masquerade to bounce off of that gold. This is a gorgeous color. And then we'll do, let's try the blue flash next to that. 
Emily says, I love my paint, Christina. Yay. What's not to love, right? We all love color. So I think I'm out of white, so I'm going to have to do the juniper here, which is going to be weird. Let me see how much I can get out of there. Hello, Sarah. Welcome. That's the end of that one. Okay, back to the bar. And he says the pigments are so deep and rich. They are. They're yummy. Yummy? Yummy. It's probably the only chance I'm going to get to use juniper in there. Yeah, bottle washing time. No. I'm replacing... I've got something in the mail today, Shelly, that I'm going to try. And if it works, I will share it with you guys. But I haven't tried it yet, so I can't say anything yet. There probably are people that already do it, but I don't yet. All right. I need a good dose of Shelly's here because you need that little bit of contrast against that gold. Yes, that was a teaser. I am. I always tease anyway. Got my box of goodies today, Brian. Thank you. It's almost like you rehearsed that. Brian asked if you would get your box of goodies today. Oh, he did. <laughs> I got them today. I'm going to move these out of the way because we're going to make a mess. That's a very hard thing for you, right? What? Making a mess. Yeah, it's so stressful. It's just me. I'll stir up my base coat because it's been sitting since last Thursday. Hello, Sheena. Glad you could join us. All right. I'm going to do one at a time. Oops, I have one too many. So my cup comes to about here. So I want to make sure I go that far at least. I'll kerplunk it. Hello, Sue. Glad you could join us. It's okay being late. Just don't let it happen every week. It's not tutorial Thursday. They can be late. Just kidding. This too. Ooh, it's going to be close on that last one. It's a lot of paint. Brian says you need 25 ounces of paint. I'm good. I have more than that. I'm going to make a mess. It's already a given. <laughs> okay. So I need my spatula. Ooh, that doesn't cover. I have another one. Well, I have this one I can use. Use this. It's a bench scraper, but I'm going to use the opposite side. All right, let me get my canvas over closer. My camera's still smidge crooked. There we go. 
All right, here we go. Hello, Dan. Glad you could join us. And Maria. I'm clean as I go. It's kind of like when I bake. Clean as you go. <laughs> That's no fun. All right. I'll let a little bit of paint out of each one of these to get them connected. So Angie says she's never seen this before. Why don't you give her a little idea? Just a boiler maker. Drop a shot in a, in a drink. Years ago, they used to drop their whiskey and their beer. We do it with paint. Which one? So, is there silicone in the paints? Yes, there is silicone in the colors that I used. I can see Maria. So, if you notice, our moderators do not have blue names anymore. All they have is their wrench, which confused me earlier. <laughs> I was like, I have no moderators here. All right, so I have a little bit of color peek in there. Let's see what we can do. Hello, Linda. I'm letting the color out a little bit under as well. Everybody's saying it shows up blue on their screens. Blue yeah. on the phone. It is blue. What's blue? The names of the moderators. Well, it's not on mine. All I see is a wrench. Right, Al? That's right. All we see is a wrench. Somebody's been messing with your mind. Or your computer. That's nothing new. <laughs> Actually, I could put those dirty, yeah. Shot glasses. Well, I'll set them aside. They're very pretty on the inside, too. Oops. These are the big ones I forgot. Give it a change. Okay. I know we have plenty of paint. See? <laughs> We do. I'm going to go ahead and take that corner off there because I'm going to open it up. A little glare. Yeah, it's that light right there. So I can turn it. Is that better? Yes. Needed to go. Let's go down here. I like to dump away from me instead of towards me. The sides look cool.
Okay. Let's go this way. Since we're there already. more off the side. And a little bit off there. Plenty of paint to play with. Whew. Get a little dizzy? Huh? Not dizzy. It's heavy when you get all that paint on there. I'm at the wrong leverage. Oops, must have got myself. All right, let me torch. this back here a little bit. It's just a little too straight. So let me see where my paint's at. Hello, Victoria. Hi, Vic. A little more balanced. Welcome, St. James. Glad you joined us. All right, now I'm going to stare at it for a minute or two. He's swamped at work. He's so tired. And they're already calling him. Okay, let me see what this is here. Just a bubble. I'll leave it right there. I'll bring you guys, guys down just a little bit. Of course, we'll have the glare from the lights. I'm liking this area here. Um, see all the cells going on there? I like that spot a lot. And I'm digging this right here because it's like one cell. Let me see if I can lift it up. Kind of like galaxy-ish in the middle there. Thanks, Dora. I see. Nice to see you. So I think I'm going to move this to the drying rack. And then I'll clean up. And I have another 
big one to do. Let me wipe it off first so it don't drip all over the place. That will be messy. And we'll see if we have any dipping areas. I had to come around on this side. So I'm going to top shelf on this and close that cabinet. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach up there. <laughs> Do you want me to put it up there? Do you think you can get it up there? Our top shelf on the drying rack is a little higher than what I'm used to. Gloves. Because it's the messy paint. The messy paint? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would need like a step stool to get up on that shelf and be comfortable getting it back in there. But I also have the air purifier there. I may have to move that cabinet over a little bit this way, huh? All right, baby, be careful. You'll get black paint all over the front of your shirt. There he goes. Anything worth dipping? No. It's really hoping we'd have some dippers. Boo. He made it. <laughs> he made it. This is going to be fun, too. Yeah, I said fun. I did it. <laughs> I made it. I have to put my shot glasses in a bucket, though, before we do the next one. I don't see any black paint. I think we're good. Have it on me though. Okay. Move that aside. Oh, I took my gloves off. Oh. There you go. Thank you. He's so helpful. That's the only bad thing about doing big canvas. You really make a mess. All right. So the next one, I have to go this way. Because we're going longer. I don't know what that tops off of. So away she goes. Okay, I just sprayed it, so it's got a little spot there. Up we go. This is a 15 by 30. Gallery wrap. We're going to do a flip and drag tonight. I haven't done one in a while. 
on a big canvas. So I'll use a white background. Um, colors. Ooh. Hello, Kathy Mack. Glad you could join us. I'm going to do Coral Reef Metallic, Copper Penny, Dark Chocolate, and Gold, of course. Um, I don't want to put any yellow in there. I thought about the Persian Autumn Yellow, but I think it'll take over. I think I'll stick with those four. So because this is a, ten, a 15 by 30, we're going to do more than the um, one finger high. We're going to use a wider mouth cup. And I'm probably going to go up to here, which is about probably an ounce and a half of color. If you're doing the one finger on this size cup on a five ounce, it's usually about three quarters of an ounce to an ounce. Well, hello, Spicy. I saw him. <laughs> Long time no see. We're doing well. Thank you. So I just mixed this this afternoon. All my bubbles were at the top, which is a good sign. It's okay being late, Lori. We're not going to be late tonight anyways. We are calling it a short night tonight. But we do have a giveaway tonight, so don't take off yet. All right. Let's get this base coat down. Brian says you need 28.15 ounces of paint. <laughs> Really, Bry? Brian is our paint calculator. Did I retire from Mondays? No, I'm just brain dead. He had a rough day at work today. I'm giving him the night off. He's just reading comments. So actually he's having the week off because he doesn't paint on Thursday either, so. And his phone's just like humming constantly today. Poor guy. I'm sorry, babe. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Let me stretch this out. So when you're doing a flip and drag too, I try to take off as much paint as I can tilting. It's just your base paint. If you want, you can step aside after you stretch it and put it back in your jug. I don't. I don't have time for that. <laughs> but you can. So I do a hard tilt just to get it down. And then you can pick up what you have on your pad and put it where you need it. Instead of wasting, stipple it in there. I don't know if you guys watch our K3 designs. Rhonda, she is so much fun watching her create with resin. She has a lot of cool effects with resin. All right, let me pick it back up. So now I'm going to let it just glide down. Get my corners while I'm waiting. 
You don't want to leave a lot of paint on your canvas for a flip and drag. It muddles your colors. All right. Got my corners. Get my edge. All right, let's torch those bubbles out. Get a few. spray my cup with some WD-40. Ah, I can find it. There it is. Away from my canvas. I do rub it in because all I'm doing is coating the cup so the paint doesn't stick inside. I want it all on the canvas. All right, so I am going to start with copper. I'm gonna try to get two rows of color in. And then I'll follow that with the, actually let's do the brown on that, the chalk, dark chocolate. These are all Prash Posse paint. These all have silicone in them. Then we'll do, they'll do the coral reef. Such a pretty color. And a little bit of gold. Let's say hello to Mona and to Evelyn. Glad you could join us. Hi, Mona. Hello. Go back with some copper. Some more dark chocolate. Not a lot. Coral reef. I'm not being shy with the coral reef. And the gold brush. I'm going to put a layer on top and I'm going to squirt some down in. That one says hello, Christina. So I am up to my one ledge. Let me move my canvas back here if I can reach. Everybody see okay? I can turn the light back down if we need it down. <clears throat> I am going to give it just a tiny S. That's it. Just to marry those layers a little bit. We'll pop in the middle. We'll wait for that paint to release from the bottom. She's down. Let's poke a hole or two. All right. 
and hold my cup down because if I let go, it would probably fly away, push the suction back down. So now I'm going to lift up just a smidge. My color's starting to come out. Ooh, I dropped a bunch there, didn't I? We're going to have to go get it. Oh my, we might have to do a little more paint. But maybe not. We might be able to pull it. Okay. So I'm going to dip. I like to dip my cup in the white paint before I go back in so I don't leave rings. Um, I'm not minding this here, but I do want to, I want to pull this color back here. If you drip, it's okay. Just erase it with your finger. You put it back. All right. Let me give it just a little torch just to see what we got under that white. Now we're going to stretch. Okay, I'm going to go side to side first. Need a drink, babe? I'll pull back just a little bit so my bottom doesn't run too fast. All right, I'll bring it back. Every once in a while, is that red, Christine? It says on the TV it's red, but brown on the laptop. <laughs> it's coral and brown. And gold. I'm and sure she said, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I'm just stretching it. I want to open up those colors. I'm going to come this way. That you guys won't be able to see. I'm sorry. I like to see a little bit of white paint run off before I pull back. All right, then I'll pull it back and straighten it out. Okay, I kind of like that composition right where it's at. So we're not all in the middle, we're kind of up and down. All right, let me torch it again, and then I'm going to airbrush, play with it. The colors are beautiful together. Let me bring it down, I'll show you close up. Hang on. <laughs> she can take you for a ride. They play very well together. It's a nice color palette. You guys know me in a good color palette anyway. All right. Let's play. So when I airbrush, I like to brush out that way, turn my painting, and do the same. If I come this way, it will look nothing like the other side. Just grabbing the edges because I don't have a lot of paint on the end. I'm going to push them there. I remember seeing a comment for Brian that says you're 17 ounces short. 
That would be fine if I was covering the whole canvas. But I'm not. So I'm opening up that edge. Now what's happening on me? It's got that one still. Just grabbing those edges, wisping them out. If you don't like an end, you can just touch it and take it off. Because sometimes you'll get loops that you don't like. You can get rid of those. And the other thing is, too, if you see areas that you really like, you do not have to airbrush that out. Just when you're done, make sure that you're balanced. Because I don't think I'm going to touch this here. I kind of like that there. But you really don't want to, like, blow out the whole thing. You just want to move it out. Give it some interest. Tail. She gone. <laughs> I don't think you've done one this big, have you? Yeah. Our bedroom, remember the turquoise ones that we had on every wall in our bedroom? <laughs> you know, the ones that are upstairs. <laughs> that will probably never get hung again. All right, let's switch it around. Work on the other side. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's not, it's not 20. I can't fling it around because it'll hit me. <laughs> My arms aren't that long. Okay. Okay. Let's play with this side. I see a couple loops here I don't like already, so... I like to hold my airbrush like a pencil. It's just easier to control. And hold your cord <laughs> or it'll be in your painting. I see a lot of people go like this with their airbrush. You have no control. Away. You're just shoving paint. Being so careful on that edge there. That's where I want to open it up. I'm going to take just a little bit of that paint off of there. So I want it to wisp. Loop de doop. When I first started on YouTube, when I was doing these back in 2017, <laughs> I 
I had an Amazon shop with the airbrush in there. Oh my goodness, we sold a lot of airbrushes. Everybody was just in awe. So now it's like everybody I know has an airbrush. So when I'm watching one of their videos, I'm like, get your airbrush out. Okay, I kind of like that. Let me brush around it and see if I need to use it. Oh, I love the way that went out. I need something here. I see brown underneath that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. So what I'll do is push this over to it. A little too much. Eraser. It is. All right, let me torch it and see what we got. There's a couple spots I want to touch it with my finger. Giving them a point. What do you think, guys? You love the color palette. Yeah, I, I've done this color palette before. So the reason I did this color palette tonight is because this is a commission piece, but I didn't want to say anything before I started. Because <laughs> it would have made me more nervous. <laughs> so I think I'm happy with it. All right. Now we know that chocolate will dark will darken up as it dries. And the gold will reflect off of it. And we also have the shine from the coral reef and the copper. This should be absolutely beautiful when it's dry. And it's balanced. I'm filling both sides of the canvas, so. Got a little bit of glare over on this. Yeah, I don't know if here. it's this light. No, it's that light. Turn up? You can't really move that light because it's between the monitor and the articulating arm. So let me see if I can lift it up. Give you guys a little closer view. Just keep double checking my edges. So this one will get signed on the front when I'm done with it. Probably resin. I will know tomorrow. <laughs> Anna says it looks like a caramel latte. 
it is yummy. Let me see my other side. That's what they want ice cream. Lori wants ice cream. The only thing I don't like about this white paint is how it dribbles. Sides. Well, it looks bumpy right now, but when it's dry, it's not so bad. But it's, uh, anytime you're working with white, it does that. They look like drips, but they're not going to see the side anyways. It's going to be the bottom. All right, let me lift this up and I'll see if I can show you up close. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold this right in there, just playing so pretty. And that copper is surrounding the ground, so. Yep. Alan, do you want to put this one on the rack for me too? <laughs> Please. <clears throat> yeah. See, I don't want to touch it now because it's starting to dry on the edges. Thank you, babe. Gent. Take the baby to the bin. <laughs> the nice thing with that, too, is if I don't like my sides, I can always... It did not drop it. It just dropped a rack. I can always go in and repaint the sides. And sand the bumps down and repaint them. Done it before. Yucky. So I had ordered a bunch of stuff from Brian. And I'm going to do a giveaway tonight of one of Brian's gadgets in celebration of his Toy Express collaboration coming up this weekend. So we're going to give away a drip cup tonight. You bring me down. Ellen, I need a number. We need a number. Five million two hundred and eighty two thousand six hundred and twenty three. <laughs> Is that how far behind you are in orders? <laughs> At work? <laughs> that would be funny. No, that wouldn't be funny. So he's getting me a number. So if you haven't refreshed, make sure you're refreshing in live chat. So how we play it is you pick a number between 1 and 50. And if you live in the USA, I'll ship it to you. If you live outside of the USA, you pay for the shipping. It's just easier for us. Okay. Ooh, that's a new one. I'll stick it under there. So you can't see the outline. You're fresh. <laughs> we know that, Linda. So, is everybody ready? Yeah, Brian, you don't need to play. <laughs> okay, on your mark, get set, go. Good luck. Keep going. Don't time yourself out. There it is. Linda. Linda Bacon Lawless is our winner Linda. with number 45. You guys were all over the place, those numbers. Lots of 44s. <laughs> Thank you. 
I will get this out to you, Linda. Congratulations. Thank you for being here and supporting our channel. We love you guys. But we are going to wrap it up early tonight because I'm tired. He's tired. And uh, I have a lesson to plan for Thursday night. <laughs> so I think we're going to do um, pearl pour paints Thursday night because I'm still working on my color theory class. So I want to be right in there with you guys painting the color wheel with you. So join us Thursday night for our tutorial. Tomorrow night, Doris is on tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Check out her live. And then we have Doris again on Saturday. So, and Brian on Sunday. But I believe because of the collab, their stuff is different. Right, Brian? Brian's live will still be the same time, but he is also kicking off the Toy Express collaboration um, on Saturday. And I think it's 2.15, right, Bri? So make sure you check his channel out. And you can follow all the channels from there for Saturday. Yep, 2.15 Eastern. Thank you, Brian. And um, go out and support our buddy who makes the greatest toys on earth, right? Don't know what we do without you, Bri. But we love you all. And we will see you all Thursday night. Have a wonderful evening. Bye now.